So I'm going to show you some new features that are available with the Winter 18 release in Salesforce, specifically focused on lead conversion. So here we are on our fake lead of Fred Flintstone, and we're going to go in the upper right-hand side, and we're going to click on the Convert button. And when we can click on the Convert button, we can see that we now have a newly designed lead conversion screen. Near the top of the screen, we can see that we have account information. In the middle, we have contact information. Down below, we have opportunity information. So let's take a look at each one. On the upper left hand side in the account information we can see over here that the account name is pre-populated with the name that we have uh, from the lead record in the company field. We can see that we now have the ability to select what record type should be associated to this account that we are about to create. Alternatively we can go and select an existing account that is in Salesforce. So let's go ahead and search and we can see over here Salesforce is already telling me, oh wait a minute, uh, is this perhaps what you're looking for? So you can see that it, as I do a search it's going, it can narrow down the options over here so I can choose that existing account if I want to. Then for contact uh, I can see over here that I can create a new account for Fred Flintstone or I can choose an existing contact. Now watch what happens if I expand this section. I can, even if I'm creating a brand new contact, I can go ahead and make some edits to this. Uh, let's make up a middle name of Edward. I can uh, make any corrections perhaps to the spelling of the last name, add a suffix, uh, middle name, etc. Or I can go ahead and choose an existing contact and let's go ahead and do that. So I can see here that Frederick Flintstone already exists in the database. I can also choose over here, it's a little bit, the font is a little bit light, but there's the option to update the lead source uh, on that existing contact based on whatever information we have on the lead record that I'm in the process of converting. Over here in, in the lower portion of the screen, I can see the, that there are some options with regard to the opportunity. So I can choose to create a new opportunity. I can give that opportunity a name. I can also choose what record type should uh, be applied to that newly created opportunity. Alternatively, I can always click on the checkbox down here to not create an opportunity upon conversion. On the flip side, similar to what we had for account and contact, I can go ahead and choose an existing opportunity. Uh, this particular record doesn't have an existing opportunity for the Flintstone Incorporated account in Salesforce, so it's not even going to find anything for me to choose. Down below, I can choose who should be the record owner for the newly converted uh, records that are about to get created. For now, I'll leave this alone as myself, but if I wanted to choose someone else, I can simply X this out over here, and I can choose any additional team member uh, who should replace me as the record owner. And over here for converted status, in many organizations there's more than one status that's available to indicate that the lead has been converted. So we can go ahead and choose what the appropriate status should be right here in the lower right hand portion of the screen. So now I'm just going to go ahead and click convert and let's see what happens. We're going to see upon conversion that there's going to be a new confirmation screen that appears. And this confirmation screen basically shows me what records were just created and it will also let me click into any of these records. So if I now need to work on, let's say, the opportunity, I can go ahead and do that right here. Uh, alternatively, I can go down below where I see I have the option to create a new task. Let's go ahead and click on that. So if I click on the um, new task button, I can see that I'm presented with the screen where I can go ahead and I can create a new task. Follow up with him on a new opportunity. I can give it a due date. I can also indicate that it's related to maybe the same account or another account. I can uh, alternatively indicate that it's related to that opportunity that I just created. So let's go here and choose opportunity. Flintstone Inc. opportunity that I just created and I can go ahead and hit save. And we can also see back on this confirmation screen, we also have a button down here on the lower right hand side, go to leads, because if I'm in the middle of uh, just rattling off and qualifying all of my leads, I want to go back to my leads in order to work on the next one, qualify them, convert them, and just keep moving along on my day. So that, in a nutshell, are the new features associated with lead conversion 
in the Winter 18 release of Salesforce. If you're looking for more Salesforce end user training videos, either for yourself or your team, you'll want to head over to Brainy8 Academy, where I've got online, on demand Salesforce training courses for end users. They will turn you into a Salesforce rockstar. By enrolling in Brainy8 Academy courses, you will get access to a private group of students and to a Salesforce MVP as your instructor. You can even reach out with your own personal Salesforce struggles, and we will do whatever we can to help address them painlessly. Click on the link below to enroll in Brainy8 Academy today. I am super thrilled to be part of your journey in learning how to use Salesforce. Keep up the awesome work and have a magnificent day.